Hey guys, today I'm making another flower cake for you. This time I'm using Swiss Meringue Buttercream to create a gorgeous chrysanthemum cake. I really love this flower and so many of you loved seeing it on our succulent cake, so I thought I'd turn it into a whole cake like our rose and our petal cake designs. So I've covered a seven inch round cake in some green Swiss Meringue Buttercream. And I've divided up the remainder of that batch into four bowls and I'm going to tint that into some gorgeous shades of pink. Lots of you have been requesting to see how I colour my Swiss Meringue Buttercream so I thought that this would be the perfect time to show you how. To do that you need some gel food colour, some flow coat, I've placed some already into a Tupperware container. You're also going to need a spatula and a toothpick. Later on we're going to need some piping bags and I have a loyal number 80 tip. So I'm going to take some of our gel food colour. It does still take quite a lot to be able to get it to combine with the Swiss meringue. And I'm just going to use the toothpick to stir it around. I'm just doing this because it's easy to throw it out as soon as you're done. Now I'm going to add just a little bit into one of our Swiss meringue buttercream batches and just stir that to combine. Then take some more of our Swiss meringue and add in a bit more colour to the next one. Mix it into your third colour and then the fourth. And now you can see we have four gorgeous different shades of our same pink. Just using a cookie cutter, I'm going to mark out some circles, just like on our rose cake, but this time it's not to line up where the colours are, it's just to keep us nice and circular. Now taking my piping tip and making sure that the curved bit is at the base, come in by about a centimetre, press and slowly release. Just squeeze and release. You don't want to try to go too big with these or they'll tend to droop. Squeeze and pull away really slowly. Then starting our second row, you're barely coming in on the cake, trying to leave no gap between the layers. Now you can use a sweet buttercream recipe instead of a meringue, but I do find that you get a nicer curve on the ends with the meringue because it's more pillowy and fluffy. And I just think with this design, it gives you a much nicer finish. Now coming in for a third row. And at this stage you're still pulling out a fair bit, not completely straight up. Now taking our next colour, I'm just going to do the same. And you can see how adding those circles really help. Now with our next colour, still leaning back just a little bit, but you are starting to get a touch straighter. Now with our last colour, I'm going to squeeze and try to go as straight as you can. Around once. And just keep going until it's all filled in. And there you go, we have our gorgeous mum flower cake. I really love how this turned out with these beautiful shades of pink. I hope that you learnt a lot in this lesson. If you love buttercream flowers, be sure to check out this playlist here. If you'd like to see some of our newest videos, we have a playlist for that as well. And remember to subscribe to our channel to see more cake videos.